Before we designed our otter exhibit, a team of us traveled to various zoos and aquariums that already had river otter exhibits. And our goal was to kind of see which exhibits the animals were the most comfortable in, which were the most aesthetically pleasing, and of course not to make the same mistakes that someone else had already made. The process for getting to a design concept is getting all the information I can, but then I have to have a, a kind of a vision of my own. I do loose sketches and then I do tissue overlays. I do more sketches over those with the changes we've talked about. And sooner or later, we come up with a plan um, for the exhibit. Well, I, I see my role as the architect on the project to um, be taking the intentions of the aquarium and what their goals are for the project and making sure that the design reflects what the aquarium wants to see in the exhibit. I liaison between all the engineers and the different players that are on the design side and make sure that their drawings reflect structurally and lighting-wise what we need in the exhibit. Not only did we have to have water and, and things to play on, but we had to meet their behavioral needs as well. We worked really hard to try and make this as interesting to a river otter as we possibly could. These animals are so active and so wonderful to watch and uh, it's a real kind of a challenge and a, a joy to, to, to make a playground for them. Natural light is usually something that aquarists are very concerned about. Well, what's really great about this river otter exhibit is that to pull back the layers of the exterior walls of the third floor and bring the natural light in for the animals but also allow the visitors to experience the great vistas from the Aquarium of the Bay. For the team to best utilize the available space, we designed a lot of unusual features, a geographic feature, so there's different levels in the exhibit. There are three dig pits. There's not only sort of a deep swimming pool area, but there's a meandering stream. So if you're one of our river otters and you don't feel like swimming that day, you can still play in the stream. I was really excited to see the classroom transform into a new gallery environment. And uh, remarkably, uh, what I see out there on the floor looks a lot like this drawing, <laughs> which is, to me, that's very gratifying.